KP classes dedicated to excellence. Gate examination is one of the most difficult national level examination to get into premium colleges for masters. Now there is no shortcut. There is no magic trick to score more by putting in less efforts. What matters the most is efforts in the right direction. Many times we've seen students dedicating hours and hours into these studies, yet their studies do not get converted into marks. If you have been following our channel, you know that we at KP classes have been guiding students since past eight years for the preparation of architecture and planning related exams. Now, based on the experience of us having given the exam ourselves, based on our journey of guiding students in the past so many years, and of course, based on our students and toppers journey, we today have come up with this video to tell you to study less, to score more. Now, by studying less, we mean study only what is gate oriented. Now, if you have looked at the syllabus of gate examination, you will see that subjects are mentioned for which you are going to be tested and it is not narrowed down into topics and subtopics. For example, let's talk about section four of common part, that is A. In section four, the topics that have been mentioned is urban design, landscape and conservation. Now, all these three, urban design, landscape and urban conservation or architectural conservation in itself is two years master's course. That rigorous study is not possible for you to do for the gate examination. It's impossible for you to study everything under the sun. Let's take landscape, for example. The only words that have been mentioned in your syllabus is historic gardens, landscape architecture and site planning. Can you bombard yourself with everything related to landscape? Of course not. So what you have to do is you have to check the syllabus properly first and then you have to look into the previous year question papers. Check the past previous year question papers of not just five or 10 years. You have to check them for last 30 years. Check the kind of questions that have been asked in this examination, the pattern, the trends, figure out the easiest questions, figure out the most difficult questions, the most repetitive questions and figure out the scoring areas for yourself. Now I know this is very extensive and a very rigorous exercise. Uh, let's take another example. Now in your syllabus, some very extensive and lengthy documents have been mentioned. For example, NBC, which in itself is a document of more than 1500 pages, 1500 pages. If you look into URDPFI again mentioned in your syllabus, it's a document of more than 500 pages. You cannot study all these pages. You won't be able to remember whatever you study from this. What you will do is you will look into the previous year question papers and try to see what type of questions are asked from these documents. This will be very time taking. This entire process of going through the previous year question papers, understanding your syllabus, breaking it down, understanding what you have to study. It's very, very lengthy. Luckily for you, we at KP classes have already done this rigorous exercise and we have created a very structured study material for you. Even in our live classes, we study or we take the live classes only for two hours, bringing down your efforts of 10 hours per day to only two hours per day. And yes, we take the classes every alternate days. The other days you are supposed to practice and you're supposed to revise everything, which is very, very essential from exam point of view. Let us take another example of study less. Let's say you're studying a new topic while understanding or while reading about it. You take comprehensive notes, you take running notes. Now imagine in the month of January when your exam is nearing, is it possible for you to study everything that you have written in the running notes? Of course not. So what we say is while you are studying something new, mark down everything, write down everything, make very lengthy comprehensive notes. But during your first revision, break it down or bring it down to only a short note format. Now, in the last days of your examination, what you are supposed to do is bring those short notes down even further to just one A4 size page, maybe front and back or just one page for each of the subject. So by the end of your preparation or this journey of preparation for gate examination, you will be left with only 24 pages approximately to study, which reduces your burden a lot. Now, finally, another example of studying less. In the last few days or last few weeks of your studies, we highly recommend that you do not engage in very extensive studies and studying new topics 
what we suggest is you should focus on solving a lot of practice questions solving subject wise test and sectional test and give a lot of mock test and your studies and your preparation during these days should be around these mock tests for example there is a question that has been asked in the mock test which you are not able to answer get to the depths of that question analyze each of the options properly study whatever has been mentioned in that question and everything around it this is the best strategy for studying in the last few days again reducing your effort remember for any competitive examination especially for gate examination you have to study less and retain everything that you study kp classes dedicated to excellence.